man. So there we go. So for instance right here. Oops. Right there. God, I'm trash. Let me try it again. Yeah, it can be punished off with. Um, what's interesting about the Kamamiha for Goku is that he can shoot it upwards to catch opponents from jumping. So, and in the air, he can tilt it downwards. Only use it as a defensive tool. I wouldn't recommend using it as a zoning tool, though. Like, only use it to get um, if you're sure that your opponent will respect it. You know? Because, like I mentioned, it is punishable off whiff. Um, and, like I mentioned about uh, Gohan, beam attacks are heavily scaled if you vanish, so I really don't recommend it unless you're getting the kill. Um, and even if, even if you were getting a kill, just follow it with super. It's a lot easier that way. Playing triple Goku team? No, I'm not doing. A, I'm not playing a triple Goku team. I'm actually doing like a a tutorial of the uh, of the characters. Actually, uh, super free. Um, if you have any uh, questions about like anything you want to know about, just go ahead and ask in the chat, and I can possibly answer for you, my man. Um, slows. So another thing about Goku, which is very um, it's one of his weaknesses to be honest, is his mix-up game is pretty bad. Um, for example, he has one low. Nah, I started the game way too much. Yeah, I understand, my man. <laughs> I understand it. Um, but as, uh, if anything that you that you know about it, go ahead and feel free to tell me. I, I, if there's something that I miss or something that you know about it, it'll be really appreciated, my man. Or if you have anyone that else that really likes the game, you can go ahead and add them to this um, stream. I mean, I'm really neat. I'm just doing tutorials right now. I'll do some online matches later on. Um, so one of my issues with uh, Goku is his mix of game is pretty bad. Um, every character has to generate overhead. Um, it's just the issue with his is he has one low. So typically you'll see like this basic block string right here, right? This is best to convert up. The moment that you see the uh, the low attack, you don't have to fear it anymore. Will do. These aren't my characters though, so I'm not super well versed. Well, uh, what characters do you use? I can um, what characters do you use by any chance? Um. So yeah, um, he has one low. His standing, I mean, his crouching light is a medium attack. And because of that, you can't get no, like, you can't get no quick reaction off of him. You can't do it with his uh, medium attack. The medium attack is is too risky. Because um, a situation like this might happen. It can get beaten by a, a light. Um, and... He also has the Dragon Fist right here, which is an overhead attack. And some will say, oh, okay, just if you see him blocking, go for the Dragon Fist. Barred off Trunks of Vegeta. Oh, man. <laughs> Pressure team from hell, isn't it? Um, I know, I know, I covered, I covered Vegeta earlier. Is it Super Saiyan Vegeta or is Super Saiyan Blue? Um... So, the issue with Goku's Dragon Fist... Let's 
Let's start with the light version. That's just video. Okay. Yeah, I covered him before. Um, um, before. Um. Hmm. I'll get back to you in a in a second. Um. So the issue with Goku's pressure. Let's use Dragon Fist. It can be beaten by down heavy. It can be beaten by. He's my weaker character, but I still got some stuff. Oh yeah, I, I personally believe that um, Vegeta's trash. By as a character by himself outside of his um, assist, but I already mentioned that um, previously on my on my stream. I'm gonna post it on YouTube and um, I'll send you a link to it so you can take a look at it, my man. Um, but yeah, it can be beaten by jabs. It can be beaten by light jabs. And if you want to be even safer than that, down heavy. Just down heavy it. Same situation with his medium. Except his medium has longer startup. So you can do medium attacks if you predict it. And then enhance while well, same situation. Oops. You can just down heavy it. Okay, cool. Goku's best special move for the end of the block string is using his tatsus. Really? Entry, I. Never would have guessed that. I'll test that out in a second. Um, so yeah, the Dragonfish, you can just down heavy. Um, I would say the only time, and this is high risk, high risk like moderate reward, is if you feel that the opponent is blocking low from like a certain range, or you, if you can get it once, just go for it. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend it on it. It's one of those it's it's one of those situations where it only probably won't like once in a match. Because one after that they're gonna see it and, and it's reactable. Um his block strings is like whatever. Because it's whatever. The opponent's gonna be blocking low the entire time. Because there's nothing to fear of his overhead attacks. Um there's nothing to fear of his over attack because the other one can be down heavy and if he does hit you with this, his only his best bet is to do a standing jab and you can just respect that and just wait for the combo to be end. I mean for the block string to end. Um so a lot of Gokus they'll just do that. And their best bet is trying to go for a uh, a grab, go for a low, or like another uh chair overhead. To convert off of a combo. From certain distance, you can actually punish. Uh, really? Let's see. Off of block. I mentioned before that you can block that off of um, off whiff. Let's see. Interesting, you can punish it. Yeah, you can punish it. Interesting. I didn't know that. So you can punish Goku's coming out point blank. I'm getting I'm getting Street Fighter 5 Ryu Ryu flashbacks. <laughs> so, um, what else? So we know that that's punishable. Um, he said, let's see.
I believe the light tile to it is the strongest ender for block streams. Yeah, you might be. You, yeah, you could be right. You can't punish it off block, for what it seems. Yeah, can't punish it on block. It'd be better to use that than Kamameha. Um, and you don't have to waste meter either. So I didn't know that. So I thanks, dude. <laughs> Um, so that's one, op that's one option. Um, from what I've learned, so this is a guy who played anime fighters everywhere. Is because I, in every game, I always use the main character. So this is like from my experience when it comes to characters with a bunch of faults that are so basic. So you take the knowledge that you have, how basic they are, and you play obnoxious. Play obnoxious as possible. Not to the point where it becomes like, you know, where, where you play the character wrong. But what I mean is like, for example, let's say, um, let's say we do this, right? Push the opponent far away. You got yourself a Vegeta assist. Um, what I tend to do is... Um, I would empty jump into like low or like empty jump to a grab and then sometimes if I don't if I don't feel like empty jumping I'll go for the overhead like try to make the options that the, the universal mechanics that the game offers you for the character and make them work um, sometimes it can only push them so far um, that's my like thing if the opponent never breaks grabs, fucking spam that guy with grabs. Especially on online, unfortunately. I find breaking grabs online to be a hassle. Just moments of mashing buttons and then nothing happens. If he always blocking low, hit him with that jumping um, heavy attack. Oh, spam it until he learns his lesson. And afterwards, um, the next thing I'll have to say when it comes to main character is condition. Condition the opponent into your own palm of your fist, and then you can control the whole game with that character. But I come to a matchup knowledge. Um, I can't really think much about Goku. Um, I already covered that. We know his Tatsu save. His Kai Blast pushes him back if you want some corner carry. Um, but you don't get much off of it. Um. And like I mentioned before, when I mentioned the plot is always hit them with the disrespectful dumb stuff first. Test. Yeah, you're right. He's not wrong from that. He's right. Um. So with this, you don't gain much of it. You get some space, but like I mentioned, everything that Goku does that you want to get off of comes with a risk. Cause for example, yeah, you can go for an empty. An empty jump and to a low or go for overhead the the risk is that the fact that you're dashing so it could be down heavy or uh, which can be used in place for a launcher yep um, he has a upwards key blast as well he does um, that can be used as a, a black um, a launcher as well you can also use it um, for some for some combos in the corner well, not that one. That one's pretty, pretty bad example. Um, it's kind of my mouth is like whatever. It pushes him back. Um, I don't recommend doing any super on um, block. But in case if you do like do that one mess up, let's. Whoops. Yeah, 
pushes him back way far, so you can't punish that. And then level three is level three um, is super punishable on block, super punishable. Super punishable. Um, the only gimmick that I can think about is level three. It's a fact that it can be used as a reversal. So if you see that your opponent, you see that your opponent does the, the just the, if you see that shit go by frames, and you're just like, yo, dog, I'm about to reverse it. I'm like the level three year whole career. It'll work. As long as it has, like, as long as it's whiff. Um, but I don't recommend it. I only say if you hard bait the shit out of that dude. Not even bait, like, you hard predict. That's what I meant. If you predict that dude's gonna push a button and you're desperate, do it. Because <laughs> um, Goku doesn't have too many options. All level 3 have invincibility. Also, Bardock's Bionic Arm. Yeah, every level 3 in this game has invulnerability. Um, yeah, he's, every, um, super in this game, level 3 has invulnerability. Um, so I'm gonna think about Goku too, someone else mentions that. Um, Goku has an assist, is really solid. You can use it for pressure. And you can use it for, um, extending combos as well. Um, what else? So that's all I can think about Goku.